Touchdown to Seattle about five hours ago. Um, I have not finished unpacking. I got a majority of it done though. Um, right now I'm gonna try to try to make a run towards the Space Needle. It's about three miles away, but I'm probably gonna get lost. Beautiful cousin Sarah. And uh, yeah. I'm near um, UW, University of Washington. Um, today I'm gonna head to Pike Place Market, which is a, a famous market in Seattle. Um, and right now it's, I think it's around 8 a.m. and I gotta make some breakfast, so. That's the only milk you can need. Uh, can I do this with one hand? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for three minutes and see how that turns out. Um, yeah. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Ugh. Every three minutes. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Oh shoot, that's me. CMU. All right, let's try it out. Mm, it's whatever. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, it's all right. It tastes the same, actually. No, this is pretty smart. Microbrew egg gel. Uh, about to get some work done before I head to Pike Place. Something. I want to do something dirty, but there's not enough like dirty words for you. 
play. Play might be dirty. Boy might be dirty as well. There we go, there we go. Um, you can use tree in a sexual sense, I think. I don't think you could. <laughs> Um, we're at some beach in downtown Seattle. Um, yeah, I mean it was like a pretty lovely day. We, we tried out like Pike Place Market, um, super like trendy, um, cute little surf shops over there. And now we're just like kind of explore downtown Seattle while we have time, while our internships ramp up. Um, and yeah, I mean. the scenes, Anna from Indiana, the photographer. <laughs> Got Jessica over here, modeling. For sticking throughout the whole entire video. Um, I know it's a bit long and the there's like kind of no theme for it um, but that's kind of what I want to address uh, in this part of the video. So I want to um, go over goals I have for the summer for this YouTube channel that's essentially just a creative project for me and goals I have um, for work. Um, so uh, to address the YouTube channel first um, and this video, I don't really know what I'm doing while I'm vlogging uh, and that's okay. Um, I come from a photography background and I'm still learning how to do all this stuff. Um, so I, I went to the Pike Place Market yesterday, right? This is the Sunday right before work. And um, while I was at Pike Place Market, um, I was actually feeling a bit flustered trying to balance getting footage and getting nice pictures that I would enjoy myself and um, just chatting with people. Um, and I don't want my camera to get in the way of experiencing things, but rather, you know, I'd want my camera to complement what I'm doing and I think I found a really great mix with photography and my camera to to aid in building up these experiences and preserving them in like a way that I I want and a way that I think other people appreciate. So this up, upcoming week since I don't really know what I'm doing what I'm like recording footage um, I'm gonna be recording a lot less b-roll and more I'm gonna be recording more of footage of people I'm around because I am aware that that's easier to record because it doesn't require a like, skill. It just requires me to click a button and know when something I guess fun is about to happen. Um, and that'll help me preserve memories as well, which is basically the, the main point of all this. Uh, how am I gonna get better at videography? You know, that's, that is a goal of mine for, this, for the entire summer. I, so I plan on hanging out with um, some videographers next weekend um, that I met through this uh, I guess this like Slack channel that fosters this intern community in Seattle um, and through them I want to share what I know about photography and um, I want to learn from them what they know about videography so we can like, kind of feed off each other's um, creative juices I guess. Um, so in week two, um, this being week zero um, since I haven't started yet, hopefully I'll understand how to shoot, how to, sh how to just shoot footage more in a meaningful and aesthetically pleasing way. You know, make a video that's not just entertaining, but rather impactful, which is the thing I would like for this YouTube channel to have. I do plan on documenting the summer um, via what, uh, weekly vlogs. So um, week zero is almost done and week one is um, upon us. So uh, my internship lasts around 12 weeks. So I'll be making 13 vlogs in total, perhaps 14 if I'm in Seattle for you know a few days afterwards. But we'll see. Okay, and now I want to talk for my goals regarding work. Cause, you know, perhaps sharing some some goals I have for the summer regarding work will enable you understand how you can work 
more effectively and work more productively, which may in turn, um, you know, just make you a happier person, hopefully. These methods are variants of methods I've used last summer um, as my last job in tech as well. I'm going to be a software intern at a tech company starting tomorrow, June 4th, and we'll be working there for the next 12 weeks. There are a lot of goals associated with work I want to achieve. I think succinctly, you know, I, I, I want to be the best intern my team has ever had. Like, why not, right? Um, I feel prepared coming from this past year to do this. I learned a decent amount about what I need to do work effectively and have lessons learned from my previous internship that I can translate to the one I have this summer. And, you know, what it, okay, so let's say if I try to be the best intern my team has ever had and I fail, then that's fine. You know, failing is fine. I failed so many times, but I, I think it's worth, you know, putting in that effort to do something that I really want to do. And, um, do something that I'd be really proud of and you know being being the best whatever that means would uh, would give me um, a good sense of accomplishment by the end of the summer um, that doesn't mean I want to compare myself to other people it just means like be the best that I can be um, in whatever um, capacity I can show that in so how am I going to do this um, there are four approaches that I'm going to be using throughout the summer to uh, kind of facilitate this this goal I have, and each goal has like a I guess like a sub goal within it to kind of help me um, help me figure all this out. So number one is um, no planned social excursion events on weekdays, meaning no like lunches with friends, really, um, no no dinners with friends, really, no like going out to um, bars or whatever with friends on weekdays. Um, and this excludes meeting up with people to exercise with because um, I use exercise as a tool to um, to relieve stress of mine and um, I find that talking to people and chatting with them is a good way for me to relieve stress as well. And um, this is completely disregarding my cousin. My cousin is my family and I would like to spend a lot of time with her this summer and get to know her. You know, um, family stays. and. Unfortunately, sometimes friends don't. So I, I the, the no plan social things on weekdays does not include things with my cousin, um, who's, who's here for the summer as well, um, which is just a lovely um, opportunity for me to get to know her more. Um, so number two, uh, my second goal. Um, I'd like to have one career focused meetup with a full timer from my team um, a week. So. Uh, the teams at the company I'm at, they, they aren't super big, and uh, I think if I if I abide by this goal, I'll be able to um, get to know or get to understand and talk to um, uh, every single person on my team, um, and hopefully I'll be able to you know meet with them more than once. Um, you know, I want to have I want to learn from them. I want to have one-on-one -on -one chats with them. I think one-on-one -on -one chats is a good way to facilitate this learning. Um, like I'm, I'm an intern, and I don't, <laughs> I don't really know anything, and th that's it's, it's fine. Um, okay, it's it's not really fine, but if I think about it instead, um, as like just the cards I have right now, then I think that's fine. I think that's completely fine. So I just have an opportunity to improve. So why not take it? Um, and I think you know talking with these full-timers um, once a week, a new one every week for my team, I think that'd be a great way to um, to promote growth. Um, three is kind of more task-oriented. Uh, it's a way that I have found to promote um, a better sense of uh, progress. So I'd like to keep a simple task list of all things I've done and update it with everything I've done. Um, this includes like really small things like setting up my my environment, setting up, I don't know, some like uh, developer tools. Um, it's just gonna be like a simple text file, but this will ensure that um, I am response, I, I know what I'm doing and uh, I have in a text document um, what I'm doing. So it will be the one source that I can, one source of text that I can look at and succinctly remember what I've done. Um, so, this is something I employed towards the end of my last internship last summer um, and it allowed me to see mainly where I could improve on um, and I can see this this um, this way of working 
um, to be, or this way of organizing my work to be beneficial in other ways. Um, so it's it's also nice to just keep a log of what I've done so I can look back and see exactly what I've been working on um, if I ever, like, and I guess need bullet points on my resume. So bouncing off this third goal, um, I'd like to create a short video for my manager and my mentor, like only uh, a few minutes, uh, where I use a simple task list to help restructure a video in which I share um, what I accomplished this week, um, what I learned, and what I plan on doing next week. Um, so help me keep uh, me accountable um, via the, the content in the video that is shown to my manager and mentor, and it allowed me to understand how to better communicate thoughts through videos, which is something I, I really want to develop as a skill. I think it would just also be useful at the end of my internship for, um, you know, a really digestible record for what I've done. And those are my four goals for work for right now. Um, I'm gonna think about it, um, hopefully tonight a bit more if I have time. Mainly I wanna get this video um, published and um, deal with some stuff for school. Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts from you guys. Um, do you disagree with how I'm approaching some of these goals? Do you have ideas for new ones I could pursue? Um, I don't know, just no, no pressure to comment. Um, I just think it'd be nice to have a discussion in the comments in which um, both of us can kind of, in which both of us have an opportunity to have life changing impact in, if that makes sense. Um, so if you don't like hearing me talking like this for an extended period of time, this is completely new, um, feel free to let me know. Um, I thought perhaps at least one thing in this chat that I have um, might bring about a big change in someone's life. So I thought it was worth just sharing some thoughts I've been having. Yeah, um, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Um, I, I really do appreciate like the fact that you guys watch. I don't. I don't know why you would. I will see you next week, hopefully. See ya.